Yo, y'all already know what the vibes are. We at the Madison Square Garden over here. All right, listen, this is the iPhone 11 Pro. We're just gonna be doing, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. I have to make some video today or tomorrow. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I mean, I hate to do it on you guys like this, but I mean, look at the vibes though. I mean, seriously, look at them. This is un, actually, hold up. Now look at the vibes. I mean, this is unmatchable, unbelievable. Y'all already know what the vibes are. Check it out. We're going to the Apple store right now. We're going to the We're probably going to, by the way, free Wendy's video coming soon. I figure out, is this not like the same McDonald's that's like super popular everywhere? I've seen this in like Filthy Frank's videos, I think. By the way, we're trekking to the Apple store. I, either rain or shine, I gotta go. I gotta get this stuff done, man. I gotta pay my respect to pay dues to the original, one of the best Apple stores in the world, so. We're gonna go. And guys, I do love New York City, right? I love it. I've been here multiple times. I raised my granddaughter here. I'm gonna raise my great great granddaughter here. She's already born, so check it out, dude. It's so much better. I mean, I can't really dedicate it over the phone that well, but if you can see with the telephone lens on the Lenso Max, I just stepped in a bunch of water. But you can see the dynamic range in the FSO filter and the ISO and you know all those other cameras coming on. I'm not bad, you know. And this is the 11 Pro. I love to say it. We finally made it. It's right across the street. So on the outside, they got a bunch of these things. These places you can sit. They actually get pretty good views of everywhere else. And there's, a, there's, there's the Apple store itself. They got stairs and everything that go down. But I don't know, like it's in a super crazy location. There's a plaza. So there's a bunch of crazy things right here. Then there's Central Park. So for all my non-American viewers, now you know what's up. So, I mean, honestly, App Store is pretty sick. It's really cool. I couldn't film this side because, first of all, I don't want people to recognize me, but that's not gonna happen because I'm not even a celebrity. But on top of that, yo, check this out, dude. We got a whirlpool out here. But I have so many videos up in the stash that I feel like I have to do something because I'm in New York and I'm not a vlogger, so I don't know what to do. I had this really good idea of going to Best Buy and getting like the cheapest phone I could get and seeing like how it compares, basically. So I feel like that's the best. We got run over here, bro. <laughs> Oh, dang, I slept in the water. Yeah. So I'm gonna go to Best Buy right now. I'm kind of curious on how this video quality comes out because this is definitely like, I don't want to call it a camera test because I don't really like doing camera tests. And I don't really like cameras that much. But I'm definitely curious to see how this camera holds up, especially I used to do videos like this on like my old iPhones, like my iPhone like 6S, 6S Plus, 6 Plus. Curious to see how it holds up here and also the audio quality. So this is me in the future talking from my good mic. I eventually went to Best Buy, as you guys can see, and, and I walked in. I went through all the phones, and I found the best one that I could find at the time, so I went ahead and bought it. I'm going to ahead and talk right now in a different sector of the video, and then I'll come back in this audio. All right, we secured the bag, literally, but I got to find a place to unbox it and review it. I don't even know what phone this is, but it costs $27, and I almost bought the LG Rizio 2, which is actually like the $40. And this one's even cheaper than that, but this one, I don't know how this one's gonna be, but I just need a place to unbox it. Like it's raining right now and I don't know what to do, but I secured the bag, so you gotta figure out what to do right now. So now that we're back, this is, you know, the best spot I could do to find an unboxing. I didn't have like a tripod or anything and I was in the middle of New York, so I had to figure out something. And in the boxing experience, I mean, I could tell you pretty straightforward. I remember I bought a phone for Best Buy. I think like it, looked, like it was on one of my first videos. I bought it for like $10. And it was a very decent phone at the time. And this one is probably like the successor to that. And this phone came with a removable battery, the charger block, the charging cord. It did have micro USB, no USB type C, but this thing did have the headphone jack and micro SD card slot, which I found super surprising. The packaging wasn't completely horrible. You know, it wasn't bad at all, but you know, the build quality is kind of what you expected for a $25 phone. But honestly, the looks of it, it doesn't really look that bad or that cheap. And I'll get into that in a second. But as you can see, the whole entire unboxing experience wasn't bad and the battery actually had juice in it, which I was super happy about because I wasn't around a charger at the time. So I had to do my best to kind of figure it out. Now, when I did actually finally boot it up, dude, I was like stunned by how bad this phone is. I hate to say it, man. I, I know when I'm using my 11 Pro Max and my Galaxy S10s and like the Google Pixel 4s and everything and I use this phone, for me, it might seem like I'm privileged or whatever, but I do understand the point in the time that I am like, I'm kind of in a different scenario than I and I totally respect that. But even this phone is like a whole nother sector. But I understand there's a time and place. There's people who need it. So I'm not going to bash it on that. I'm not saying this is a completely, you know, unusable phone. No one should buy it. But there really are a couple things missing here and there. Now, this thing on the front has a five inch screen. I don't even think it's like a 500 by like 600 resolution. I don't know what this resolution is, but it's definitely not good. I think it's like a TFT panel. It's, you know, multi-touch. It gets the job done, I guess. But like my iPhone 3GS, I think has a better screen than this thing, which is pretty crazy. 
but it's not an ugly looking thing as you can see. I mean, like I said, it kind of reminds me somewhat of like a Nexus 5. So I guess that's a good thing, but, but I feel like they probably could have done better, but this is a $20 phone. You know, this is the cheapest one Best Buy has. So if I bash on it too much, then it's not going to make much sense. But you're still getting the screen, micro SD card slot, battery, and so much from this device in my opinion. Now when I'm going through things, I just basically went through all of New York and just kind of filmed as much as I could. And I was pretty surprised to see that this thing actually had Android 8.1 on it. And that's surprising because there's still some phones out there that cost like 10 times the amount of probably like 50 times the amount of this phone that, that don't even have Android 8.1 natively. You know, there's phones like the Samsung Galaxy S6, I think, and like and the, all those LG phones that stop support. And there's tons of phones. I understand those are older, but even in the used market, Market, those are more expensive than this phone and this one got a newer version of android than those ones did and this phone can barely even support it which was so funny to me and this thing even though it has android 8.1 i feel like this thing barely handles android lollipop well i mean this thing was glitching all over the place the panel i understand it was raining and i tried my best to make sure like to wipe it off every time but it was raining so bad i couldn't help it so i was going through it and i was messing with it and i'm like dude this thing is so glitchy it was so weird but again, for a $20 phone, it's really not that bad. Like, I'm actually pretty surprised this thing even turned on as soon as I turned it on. I'm surprised I didn't run into any problems with it either. So, with that being said, the performance-wise, I mean, it's not bad. This thing is definitely not getting any more software updates or anything like that, I'm pretty sure. Maybe security updates here and there, but I don't think it's getting any software updates after this. So, can't really speak on it too much there. <laughs> Now it's funny because reading Best Buy's thing, they actually, for one of their listings, I think they changed it now, but they said that it had a dual 5 megapixel camera on the back, but now it's just saying a single 5 megapixel rear facing camera. It has a 2 megapixel front facing camera. I'll hit on those in a second. But the funniest thing is, is that kind of going on to the performance side, this thing has a quad core processor with 1.1 gigahertz per processor, whatever. I'm pretty sure it has like the Snapdragon 35 chip, but this thing has 2 gigabytes of RAM, which was pretty surprising because I thought this thing would only have 1 gigabyte of RAM, but it actually had two and it wasn't a like I said, a horrible performing phone. I mean, I feel like they could have done better. I don't even know TCL if that's the man of manufacturer. Maybe they could have done better. Maybe they didn't. But dude, this was a $20 phone and it's not a bad phone for that price. This is, if you think about it, this is a pretty insane value per dollar. If you, I mean, I just have to say it, get out of the gate. So that being said, you know, that was pretty interesting. The performance wise though, it, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't horrible. Me going into like apps here and there were kind of, was kind of annoying here and there, but it wasn't that bad. I'm surprised this thing was able to run Temple Run, but for some reason Temple Run was just not wanting to run on this thing, which is surprising because even on like my iPhone 4, that phone works Temple Run just fine. And this one wasn't able to. It played Pew Pew just fine though. And it played Real Racing 3 at skipped frames, but you know, it was playable. But for some reason, Temple Run, it just did not want to play that for some reason, which is like the most basic game in the world. So don't understand what happened there, but I guess it's whatever. This thing has 16 gigabytes of internal memory, which is awesome. And so you can store all those games and apps on this phone if you want to. But like I said, micro SD card slot support, which a lot of phones don't even have anymore. So if you think about it, this phone has a feature that neither the Google Pixel 4 or the Note 10 at standard native base model have. So pretty funny. <laughs> also, this thing has 4G LTE capability so you can go if you're on the track phone wireless network you can go and actually go put 4g lte on it if you want to the cameras you know they were workable they were working just fine i mean i wouldn't really recommend anybody to use it but it gets the job done. i'm sure if i tried harder and didn't just stand in one spot i'm sure i could have probably gotten better photo quality out of it but it wasn't bad and i think it, like i said i got the job done it wasn't bad or horrible but it wasn't good you know it was definitely far below average i mean that's a five megapixel sensor you know but again for a 20 dollars phone what more could you ask for you know it doesn't really get much better than that and to kind of you know to sum up the whole entire thing i didn't really test battery life so I'm not even going to get hit on that. I was literally, you know, my end goal was I was actually going to leave this in New York somewhere and I was just going to sign it and I was just going to leave it like somewhere in like Times Square or something. And I was going to let you, one of you guys find it. And if you guys will, you find it, you can keep it. But I forgot to do it. So I might do that some other times. I might do it with some other phones here and there. But I mean, ultimately to kind of sum up this whole entire thing, bro, the phone, you know, it works. It's good enough, but I don't think it would be my first choice. I think the LG Rizio 3, you know, for like, I think like $10 more is probably a way better choice. Best Buy actually sells a lot of blue phones as well, you know, starting, I think at like a hundred dollars. And those phones are actually really, really decent value per dollars. There's some for like 180, but to see what you can get for $20 is pretty surprising for me. You know, for me, I love going on eBay or, you know, any other website. I don't really go on Craigslist. eBay is my favorite one. And negotiating with the sellers and trying to 
buy a phone for a lower price. And even though that's something I love doing, that takes time, you know, and to be able to just go into the store and just buy the phone outright and then, you know, not have to haggle, not have to, you know, wait three to five days for it to ship out and all that stuff. Like you can get it straight from there and, you know, be set. And anybody has access to Best Buy, whether you're in California or in New York or wherever, maybe you have it in your country, I'm not too sure, but either or this phone, you know, it's not a good phone. I wouldn't recommend anybody really buying it, but the basic necessity features are there you know and if they can make a phone like this for twenty dollars i'm pretty sure they can make a phone like the note 10 and all these other phones for much much cheaper and i understand that's what they're doing they're not they have to do the markup i understand that but i don't know guys for twenty dollars it's an insane value per dollar but this is like such a biased way of saying it because it's a twenty dollar phone it's really hard to mess up a twenty. even if this thing barely even worked if this thing only had one camera and like whatever it'd still be a pretty insane thing because at least it turned on, you know what I mean? So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this really, really out of nowhere, completely different video. I was traveling and I had to figure out something to do. And this is a video I want to do for a while. So I figured I might as well try it out. So if you guys enjoyed it, if you want to see more videos like this, but way better, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.